Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Discord server, but specifically how to set up a verification section. That way you don't get bots coming into your server and just raiding your channels. So this is a great way to keep your Discord server secure and a great way to kind of show that, hey, you put some time and effort into building this server. But before we get into it, let's roll that intro. So we're actually just gonna jump straight into it. I'm gonna jump in onto my computer, show you folks how to build this from scratch. I went ahead, created a blank server to show step-by-step -step how to add a verification process to it. So let's go ahead, let's jump onto the computer and get started. All right, so we're on my computer here and I'm gonna take you folks step-by-step -step on how to go ahead and add that verification process to your Discord server. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start this on a new server here. This is going to be my Watase test server. As you can see, it's a brand new one. It only has that one general channel right here on the side. But I'm going to go ahead and what we're going to do is first, we are going to install Dino bot right here. You can go to dino.gg. I'll drop the link down in the description as well. But this is going to be the bot that we're going to add to our server. This is going to allow us to really easily create a reaction role that will give permission to people who come into our server, give them permission to see everything like all the other channels that we want them to actually see. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to log in really quick here. And we're going to add this to a server in the top. So when you come down here, if you have multiple servers, you're going to have to select the server. So we're going to select the Watase test server here. I'm going to hit continue. And you basically just have to allow all of this right here and we'll just hit authorize. All right. So once we verify, we add that to a server. This right now, we'll just hit done. Okay. So once we have that all set up, let's go back into our Discord server here. And we're gonna have to do a few setups in our server to make sure that the verification will work. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create another channel. We're gonna name it um, whatever you wanna name it for the verification channel. We're gonna just name it Verify here. And we're gonna generate that right there. So I should have two channels. I'm gonna bring the Verify up top. So we have the Verify and the General. I'm just gonna do some other test channels just so we can get an idea these will be your other channels that you have inside of your discord so let's say test one test two and then we have general and verify so when someone first comes to our discord we're only going to have them see the verify because again this will stop bots and everything from joining into your server and seeing all the other channels and everything like that so general test one and test two will be hidden um, they'll only see verify and then until they verify once they do then they'll see the rest of our server so now the next thing we need to do is set up the roles here in our server so how this is basically going to work is when someone joins our server they don't have a role so none of the channels are going to be visible to them once they verify they're going to get a verified role and that verified role will basically give you access to see everything else within the server so if we come up here and we go to our server settings and we go to roles, we're gonna have to add a role. So we're gonna create a new one. Right here, you have your everyone here, but we're gonna create a new role called verify, verified. And we're gonna make it green because they are verified. I'm gonna make that a capital V. All right, and then there's a few things that we need to check off to make sure um, that the verified role is going to have. So we're gonna make sure, let's see right here, let's save this real quick. And then view server as role, no, we're not gonna do that yet. Permissions here, sorry. So under permissions, we're gonna make sure they can view channels. Um, I'm gonna turn all this off here and I'll show you what you should check off. So we're gonna wanna one, make sure that the verified role can view the channels. We're gonna make sure that they can send messages, of course. Um, send messages here. We're also gonna make sure that they can read the message history, which is a little bit down here, I believe. Read message history. 
and those are the three main ones now go ahead you can turn on any other permission that you want for the row so if you want them to be able to use external emojis reactions um, attach files or links you can go ahead and turn those on if you want them to be able to change their nickname or anything all those things you can go ahead and turn that on whatever you want them to have the permission to do in your server so once we're done with that we're going to go ahead and hit save changes but we're also going to have to go to our everyone role here and we're basically going to turn everything off because again when someone comes in with the everyone role uh, we want to make sure that everything is off including view channels all of this off off we're going to make sure that they don't have permission to do anything within our server unless they verify so now let's go ahead and get out of this so verify channel this is the channel that we want people to see uh, when they come in so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna edit the channel here we're gonna go to permissions and under everyone so when someone comes in we want them to be able to view the channel and we also want them to read message history here so we'll have those two checked off and then we also don't want them to be able to send messages so we'll send message turn that off because we don't want anyone posting anything to our verification channel we just want them to go ahead and react to the reaction and then we're gonna go up here to roles and members and then under the verified one so once you are verified you can choose if you want someone to still be able to see the verification channel or not normally you can just hit no so once they verified that verification channel just goes away and they can't see it anymore uh, we don't want them to be able to send messages and they can view message history if they want but we're not gonna make it viewable to uh, someone once they are verified so I just made a test everyone view here which matches the permissions of everyone so when someone first comes into our server here they're gonna just see this verify channel here with our verify message that we're gonna build into this uh, in a little bit now once they do verify so we go verified here uh, you can see here that they will see the general the test one test two channels and our verified channel then disappears okay so now we need to be able to add our little verification message to here that is going to ask someone to maybe react to a message in order to get the verified role and we're going to use dino in order to set this up but in server settings here what we're going to have to do under roles is we are going to come here to the default uh, permissions uh, we're going to want to make sure dino is at the very top of our list here okay so we're going to make sure it's above the verified row here we can exit out of there and then under our verified channel we're going to hit edit channel permissions we are going to go to a dino here and we're going to make sure they can um, view the channel uh, let's see send messages dino can send messages in there uh, we're gonna want to make sure we can add reactions use external emojis uh, manage messages read message history and we'll save that so we'll just turn those permissions on for dino okay so that's setting up dino for our server here now we're just going to go back to our website here we want to go on the left side we're going to go to modules and we are going to go under the reaction rows so you can go ahead and hit settings for reaction rows one you want to make sure it's on so if it says disable module that means it is on because it's the opposite so yeah make sure it's turned on we're gonna give this a unique name so we'll go ahead and we'll just call it test verify now we're gonna go ahead and select what channel we want this to appear in which is going to be our verify channel and there's a few ways you can put the message in uh, one you can do a plain message which is just gonna be uh, whatever you write here um, I believe plain is just a plain message embedded I believe it looks like it came from the dino bot uh, but we can use an existing message so what we can do is make it look like we sent the message inside of the verify so we come back to our server here well, let's type in a message we'll say please so react with a thumbs up to get verified for the server so we'll go ahead and 
post that so we'll post a message here we're gonna come up here hit more and we're gonna copy ID and if you don't have that copy ID feature right here you can come to your settings your user settings down here and under appearance scroll down to the bottom is it the bottom um, where is it oh it's under advanced uh, they moved it so under advanced just make sure you have developer mode turned on and that will allow you to go ahead and copy the ID of the message so again uh, right here hit more we're gonna copy the ID we're gonna go back to our dyno dashboard here and we're gonna paste the message ID right there and what we're gonna do is add reaction setting and we want when they react to it we want to give them the verified role of our server and for our reaction like we said it was a thumbs up so we have to react with a thumbs up to make sure that we get the verified role now there are a few more options down here that you can add uh, the one that i toggle on is keep the reaction counter at one so no matter how many people tap on the reaction it'll always show one and then we'll go ahead and hit save so you can see now in our verify role please react a thumbs up to get verified for the server and then we have our little thumbs up there so if i click on that i then get the Roll. As you can see, my guy turned green. I am now verified and I should be able to see the other channels. Now, one thing I did forget to do is in these channels here, we have to edit the permission for the verified people. So uh, for everyone, we want to make sure that they can view the channel, send messages or read message history. And we also have to add the role for verified to go ahead and view the channel. Uh, send message and read message history and then you can toggle on whatever else you want them to be able to do in those different channels so the one thing when creating these new channels you have to make sure that uh, if you add anything new to your server after this that you make sure that the everyone permissions are set off and that the verified permissions are set on if the verified members of your discord server can actually view those next thing we're going to add is something like a membership screening now you may have seen this in a few discords that you have joined recently so in order to set it up we're going to come up to our server settings again and we're going to have to enable community in order to get this feature so go ahead hit enable community get started you're going to go through um these different things you can go ahead and have discord uh, filter through your stuff and remove explicit media if you want but go ahead go through this setup here um, you can create your own guidelines uh, i'm just going to use discord's generated one and have them create one for me as well as community updates so they can go ahead and just uh, create those channels for me and then all we need to do is make sure that we agree here and hit finish setting up Okay, so now we should have this section here in the left of community and we're going to go to membership screening. So that's that screen that I was talking about earlier and that's what we're going to set up now. So we're going to hit set up membership screening. We are going to enable it um, and what we're going to do is hit get started here and you can add whatever rules that you want for your server. Now you can just use um, Discord's rules here. You can go ahead add your own rules, whatever you want to display and whatever you want people to agree to before entering into your server. Go ahead, add it here, and then hit save. Okay, so once you have that there, now you can see here you have your agreements and everything. You can go ahead and preview it. So this is what it's going to look like to people joining into your server. They just have to hit agree and then submit there. Now, another thing you can add is a welcome screen. Sorry, I also forgot you can add a description of your Discord server in here too. So I'll just put test server. So whatever you put as a description will show up on the left screen continue there so welcome screen is the next one this is going to be the next one that's going to kind of walk people through what they need to do when they join your server so what i normally like to do is in the verify channel that's where we want them to go to that's really the only place they can go to and then we're just going to write verify yourself and hit save so what it will show is why is it not oh we can enable this preview and It'll just say, 
we can add a description if we want to but top things to do here verify yourself that way if someone doesn't know what to do they can just hit verify yourself it brings them to the verification channel and then they can hit the reaction to get the verified role that really does it for your setup here again we have our membership screening here that they have to agree to a welcome screen that's going to bring them over to the verify channel and what they will be able to do is if they are as a everyone role they will see the verify channel hit the reaction they'll become verified and then they can go ahead and view the rest of your server all right and there you go so just a few simple steps using the dino bot and everything you are now able to use a verification process to make sure that you don't get things like bots and raids of unnecessary people you know spamming out your discord channels and everything it's a great way to keep your server safe and a great way to again build that quality discord server especially if you're launching an nft project so if you folks enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell i know i haven't been posting a lot lately but i do plan on posting a lot more video and content around nfts and everything right here on this youtube channel until next time see ya